all of that inspiration on how we can start to see money differently and make our money work for us. And it's tough decisions to make, but they are necessary ones to make as well. But I'll tell you what's not tough to make is the next recipe we're about to make. <laughs> <laughs> Clover Fresh Milk is the number one milk brand in SA. Made with love by Clover. Oh yes, oh yes, it's inspired, but it's very easy. This week we were inspired by hashtag love clover competition winner. I'm talking about Rene Lue Hassani, who sent in this creamy semp recipe packed with goodness, flavor, and nutrition in a bowl of creamy comfort. Oh yes, sounds like just what you want to have on your table. Let's hear what Rene Lue has to say about why she loves this so much. Take a look at this. My name is Rene Lue Hassani, so I'm going to tell you why I love cooking semp so much. So this meal, guys, reminds me of my green. So each and every day I used to cook it for her before she could pass away. So this no reminds me of him. How I learned to cook is that when I realized that my granny was getting older, I learned how to cook it and cook it for her each and every day. This is my favorite African dish because you can cook it on funerals, African traditional wedding, um, parties, stingable meal. Well, I love that recipe, Rene Lue, so much that we've decided we're putting it on the show here. We're going to be making it for everybody out there to be inspired. And they'll be able to make this for all sorts of occasions, whether it's a party, whether it's some sort of celebration. Uh, they'll be ready and they'll be on standby. You know somebody who's taken all your notes and has made sure she brings them to life? It's our kitchen fairy, Nicole Snelly. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, so... I'm very well, very well, thank you. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm good. I'm hungry, so yeah. <laughs> this is definitely winter comfort food at this its best. This is it. And you know what? Samp is a much-loved uh, you know, staple in South Africa, I think on the African continent, that is cooked in so many ways, uh, much like um nusho. And today we're going to be showing you a very creamy version, of course. It's served perfectly on its own. Or you can serve it as a side dish for a hearty meal. So how are you going to be doing it this morning, Nicole? So we've got a little bit of oil in our pot. Okay. We're going to add our onions. Nice. We're going to brown them off. I really like this recipe because it's super simple yeah. and it's it's still packed with flavor because you've got the onions, you've got garlic, and then she added a cream of mushroom soup powder, yes. which I thought was quite interesting. Ah, uh, Rene Lue, that is actually such a like a quality, quality thing to add onto a recipe because I think it just brings out so much flavor. And it mm. takes them to a whole new level altogether. So that was very, very smart. Yeah. Your granny must be proud, Rene Lue. Yeah, mm. definitely. So we've got the onions in here. I'm going to add the garlic. Yeah. And we're just going to let that simmer off a little bit while I prepare the milk mixture. Okay. So once that's browning off, we're mm. going to add one and a half cups, or I'd use one and a half cups. She says one cup to two cups of yeah. milk. So um, you're going to do one and a half? Yeah, I'm going to do one and a half. So okay. we're adding our mushroom, cream of mushroom powder. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to add the milk. Just want to see here. Yeah. I'm surprised you still actually look because I know you people who are so good in the kitchen. You just hoi it in there, you never oh, look. I do just <laughs> Sometimes you look, okay. <laughs> yeah, so we've got some fresh um, full cream milk from Clover over here that we're just whisking up. Mm. And what I like about this, it adds that extra creaminess because when samp is naturally a very creamy thing to, to cook in, when you've cooked it up in the pot with some water and some salt. Yeah. Um, and then this just makes it that indulgent, wintry, hearty oh, dish. So that it makes it rich, rich yeah. which is what you want. I think what makes comfort food comfort food is the richness of it. Exactly, the, and the the warm, buttery flavors. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's got to have. I don't think it's rich enough if it doesn't have that creamy element. No, it's not. It really isn't. You won't be going for seconds. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? You'll eat because you want to stay alive, but. But That's it. And also, the nice thing about creamy food in winter is that it helps our body stay nice and thick too. Yes, which <laughs> is what we love, cuddly, nice and cuddly. Well, it's certainly getting cooler and cooler now. The temperatures, oh, yeah. last night was so, so cold. Not just so cold. in Cape Town, I think across the country. the country. I've seen so many people tweeting about how cold it is and how much they crave those, you know, those, those traditional comfort foods. So this is perfect this for is perfect. the time we're entering now. So I'm just... Yes, <laughs> Sutherland! We are not dragging you, we are helping you. <laughs> <laughs> so we're popping the samp in here and you're going to cook this in with your milk. Mm -hmm. and, and you'll see it thickens up because of the soup powder that's in there. Mm -hmm. So you just want this to cook at least for 15 minutes. 
till it all comes together. We're going to add a little bit of seasoning, mm. which is again essential. I feel like Samp really needs a lot of salt. Yeah, you you, you kind of have to flavor it uh, quite a bit. Yeah. Uh, listen, if you are inspired and you want to get your hands on this recipe, it's quick, it's simple, and it's easy. You can go on our website. It's www.expressoshow.com. You've got a list of all the ingredients we're making use of this recipe that we've been inspired by Rene Le Hassani this morning. Uh, what I like about Samp is that you can serve it with just about anything, really. In South Africa, it's very, very popular to serve with, say, uh, oxtail, for example. Uh, yeah. But uh, if you're a vegetarian, you can you, you could still enjoy it on its own, and it's mm. still so, so good. You could do roast butternut, some spinach, mm. you could do a baked sweet potato with it. Mm. Um, you could even do some aubergine and carrots, like the whole big mixture of veggies, and yeah. you could mix it in there. Uh, it's high fiber as well, mm -hmm. starchy grain that comes in there. Of course, it contains a little bit of protein. So you're getting all that goodness yeah. uh, that you want to be getting during this time of the year. We love Sam, man. Uh, so that's so, done. Is that all you do? Yeah. So to be so, I want you to teach me something. So okay. in the safunda is a closer. Okay, so Queen. You need to teach me how to say Sam. Okay, Sam. <laughs> no. Oh, in closer. Oh, okay. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, musho. Ah, a queen, a queen waiting to be taken from Cape Town to Lusiki Siki. Ah, we are Zin. We are Zam. We are Zam in Pele. We are Zam in Pele. Two But of course, just like Renee Lewis' delicious recipe, uh, we are looking for the next best clover recipe to showcase right here on the Expresso Show. All you have to do is share your mind blowing recipe, like what we've seen, Rafilo's one, uh, by sharing uh, or replying to the clover competition post on our Facebook or Twitter pages. Simply post a picture of your recipe creation. Yes, use the hashtag LoveClover and tell us which clover product you used to create your dish. There are many clover products to choose from. This is the last week to enter, guys. There's not much time. So uh, go out there and enter and really inspire the nation. Teas and Caesar Plow. You can find all of those on expressoshow.com. Refilwe. Ha, let's Let me taste know if this. it's Umnandi. <laughs> <laughs> Queen! Ah, I love it. You are on a roll this morning. I'll tell you now. Nikong uh, Zokjailamanji. We bet till. In Kose Kakuno. Oh! Makotwam lon. How? Nikong. Tanda Kakut. Clover Fresh Milk is the number one milk brand in SA. Made with love by Clover.